It had been a wet, stormy morning in Festive Road, and although the rain had stopped, there were still puddles of water about. Number 52 is Mr. Ben's house, and he was at his window, looking at the sky. Ah, that was a nasty storm, he thought. But the sky is clearing now. I'll go for a walk. I think it's a good day to visit the special costume shop. Inside the shop, as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. Good morning, sir, he said. Which costume would you like to try today? I don't know, said Mr. Ben. I'll close my eyes, turn around, point, and then see which costume I'm pointing at. This one, said Mr. Ben. And he took the outfit into the fitting room. Inside the room, Mr. Ben changed into the outfit and then looked at himself in the mirror. It looks a bit like a pirate's costume, he thought. And still wondering, he walked through the door that could lead to an adventure. Outside the door, Mr. Ben found himself on a ship, a sailing ship. He looked around. At the top of the tallest mast was a flag, a black flag with a skull and crossbones on it. The Jolly Roger flag, thought Mr. Ben. This is a pirate ship. I must be a pirate. And all these other men must be pirates too. Suddenly, from the lookout above Mr. Ben, came a shout. Ship ahoy! Ship ahoy! At the back of the pirate ship, a door opened. It was the captain, Captain Tempest. Right then, let's see if you can act like proper pirates, called Captain Tempest. Catch that ship and bring me its treasure. Mr. Ben wondered what was happening and looked over the side of the ship. In the distance was another sailing ship. Mr. Ben said to a man standing close to him, Do you think you can catch that ship? Oh, yes, said the man. But we won't. Why not? asked Mr. Ben. I thought the captain wanted to rob it. He does, said the man. He always wants to rob ships, but the rest of us don't. It's always the same. Each time we're supposed to catch a ship, we pretend to sail badly. We've never caught a ship yet, laughed the man.
captain came back onto the deck. He was furious. You've done it again. You've let them get away, he roared. Call yourselves good sailors? You couldn't catch a boat in your own baths. We are good sailors, said the man to Mr. Ben. But we won't be pirates. Just then, there was a shout from the captain's cabin. Bring me food and drink. From down below, the cook appeared, carrying a tray of food. Take this tray to Captain Tempest, he said to Mr. Ben. The captain was looking at a map spread on the table, a map of an island. What's that island? asked Mr. Ben. Well, said Captain Tempest, pirates usually bury treasure on an island and then make a map of the island and mark the place they've buried the treasure with a cross. This is a map of my island, but we haven't captured any treasure, so there aren't any crosses. Mr. Ben went back onto the deck. Ahead, he could see Captain Tempest's island. And it was not long before the ship was tied up at the island. The sky became very dark. It's a good job we're back. There's going to be a storm in a minute, said one of the men. And it'll be very dangerous out at sea. storm started. Suddenly, from the lookout, there was a cry that Mr. Ben had heard before. Ship ahoy! Ship ahoy! The sailors rushed to the side of the ship and looked out to sea. There, in the distance, was a ship being tossed about by the wind and the waves. They're sure to be wrecked if no one helps them, said one of the men. Can't we help them? asked Mr. Ben. The captain would never let us, said another man. Trick him, said Mr. Ben. You've tricked him before. Say that it's a treasure ship and you want to capture it. But hide your pirate's flag so the other ship won't worry about you being pirates. In this storm, Captain Tempest won't notice. Right, said a pirate. You get the flag. I'll tell the captain. Mr. Ben hid the flag inside his shirt. By the time the captain came up on deck, they were already on their way to rescue the other ship. Captain Tempest was pleased to have another chance to capture some treasure, and even more pleased at how well the men sailed the ship in the terrible storm. They really were very good sailors. Pirates brought the other ship safely back to their island. By the time they got to the island, the storm had stopped. The crew of the rescued ship cheered the pirates. Hip hip. Captain Tempest was pleased. 
Then he remembered that he was a pirate and said, We only saved you so that we could rob you of your treasure. <laughs> to his surprise, everyone, even the pirates, laughed as if he was joking. <laughs> That's a good joke, said the other captain. If you are pirates, where is your pirate flag? Captain Tempest looked up at the top of the mast. There was no flag on it. Anyway, said the other captain, we haven't any treasure, only a cargo of fruit trees and other plants. We'll give you some to plant on your island. Mr. Ben had an idea. He held up the map of the island and said to Captain Tempest, you mark the map with crosses, and where you put the crosses, we'll plant the trees. They can be treasure trees. One of the sailors started to play a tune as Captain Tempest marked the crosses. Then everyone joined in the music. Mr. Ben was pleased to see everyone so happy. A man appeared beside him and said, Will you come into the captain's cabin a moment, please, sir? He did as he was asked. And there he was, back in the fitting room of the shop. He changed back into his own clothes and went back into the shop. He returned the pirate's outfit and held up the Jolly Roger flag. I found I still had the flag under my shirt, he said. You can keep that, sir, said the shopkeeper. Captain Tempest won't be needing that again, thanks to your help. Thank you, said Mr. Ben from the door and waved goodbye. Back in Festive Road, the sun was shining and a fruit van was making deliveries. At his gate, Mr. Ben pulled the flag out and looked at it. The biggest souvenir I've ever brought home, he said. Just the thing to help me remember. Thank you.